Welcome back to our channel, YouTube. My name is Kristen Forgione. I'm the founder, creative director, and principal designer here at The Lifestyle Co. And we have Pretty in PV to show you today. This project has been a new build. Our clients bought the lot. We scraped the house and started rebuilding from the ground up. And this is gonna be a new look for us, for you guys to see at least. This project is a lot more traditional. Our clients are very... Um, balanced, tranquil, pretty, right? Which is why we decided to call the project Pretty in PV. And we're gonna play a game because I know how much you guys love to like jab me in the comments occasionally when I say things over and over. Let's see, some of my favorite words are moment. I say incredible a lot. Today's focus bonus word will be pretty because I know I'm gonna say it like a hundred times because this project is just so pretty. Okay, so let's start with the stats of the house. And I also wanna remind you, at the end of the video, we, play, we post what we call a stat card. So it will tell you general dimensions of questions that we always get asked, like how big is the great room? How tall are the ceilings? How big is the island? We've been doing this a while and we know what you guys like. So we try to genuinely help you out with as much information as we can give you while of course respecting our clients' privacy. So stay tuned for that at the very end. But um, the house is five bedrooms. It is seven bathrooms, seven full baths, two powder rooms, a partridge and a pear tree. No, I'm kidding. Um, and the, a really cool element of this home, I think, is there's a lot of focus here on um, the husband, the mister in this, in this relationship. He is an avid golfer. So for the golf enthusiasts, there is a men's bath, which is like country club vibes like you've never seen, um, a golf simulator room inside the house, like the whole room is golf simulator, Ralph Lauren vibes, like so good and masculine and amazing, and an office. So he has like a whole wing that we're gonna get to show you and I truly think that you are going to go nuts for it. I also know your next question after all the other questions is what the wall color paint in here. Um, tons of you are picking up on it on social media already. If you don't follow me personally, my Instagram is at Kristen Forgione. Our brand account is at The Lifestyle Co. The paint color, ready? Is Benjamin Moore Chantilly Lace. 95% of our houses are Benjamin Moore Chantilly Lace. So uh, from here, I'm gonna show you the great room, kitchen, dining room, entryway. Let's get into it, shall we? This is always a popular place in a dining room for a bar, but in this case, our clients wanted to store um, all of their, their serving ware, right? That beautiful china that they have. So we, from the beginning, intentionally designed this piece so that it looked like furniture, right? But we wanted it to fit the space perfectly. So we used um, a little bit different toe kick here so that it had a little bit of detail, really does feel like a furniture piece. I'm obsessed with this hardware. It's in honey bronze, which is just a little bit um, softer than some of the polished brass or French brass that you see from us. And then you can see the organization in here just waiting for our clients. She hasn't moved in yet, but this will all be filled with this peg system um, with her bowls and plates and everything that she needs to have a beautiful dinner party. I also love just the really simple styling here. You guys are always asking us for styling tips. It doesn't always have to be so literal. And I think this is a really good example, right? Like clearly you're probably not gonna pick up this book and start reading it, but it provides such a, a calm and balanced styling moment here where we've got kind of a little vignette for welcome champagne, obviously big, beautiful, olive stems. The sconces are from the Lifestyle Co. They are one of my favorite. I want to say they're called the Double Elm sconce, but I love that it's a true candle, not a hardwired sconce, which I think you would probably naturally put here. So those are great for any application renters in a dining room, in a primary, in, in any use. They're one of our best sellers. Um, and just about everything you see in this project, it can be purchased from the Lifestyle Co. So we ship worldwide. Our um, website we'll put here on the screen or is linked in the description. So from dining room, I am going to take you to the most beautiful fireplace you have ever seen. You guys are always asking how comfortable the furniture is. These little babies, first of all, they're highly technical term of sit and spin, so they swivel. Um, and we sell them, so I know exactly where you can get them and we will link them in the description. This great room, this is the fireplace that I was telling you about. And it's not on right now, but we're trying to get it on for you <laughs> so that we can show it to you. But um, what is the one thing that you notice about this fireplace class? There is no TV. We didn't muck up this gorgeous tapered fireplace moment with the television. So it's a little designer win, I'm telling you. I get it, you guys. I have a TV over my fireplace. I have a TV over my fireplace, yes. 
I have a TV over my fireplace. I thought I said I have a fireplace over my TV and that would have made sense, wouldn't have made sense. So I get that this is typically for most people their main watching area. So if you have to do it, I understand, just please make it look good. But in this case, we truly feel like our clients gave us a gift by not putting a TV above their beautiful fireplace. So um, this limestone surround, over mantle, under mantle, full mantle is like so beautiful. This little taper you're also gonna see represented in the kitchen hood, which I love. So there's subtle nods there. Like look how tall she is. She's just like, I mean, stunning, stunning. Um, cabinet color in here is accessible beige. I'm obsessed with these built-ins and the way we did them. I think they just are so soft. Again, like playing with that subtle arch detail. So much natural light, beautiful chandelier in here. Um, we can have like quite a party in this house, can't we? How freaking gorgeous is this kitchen? Wait, before you get there, look up. Look at this beautiful demi arch going into the kitchen. I love it. It's so pretty. I love how it just, pretty, pretty. Am I on my third pretty? Second pretty? I don't know, you guys, I know you guys are keeping, keeping count back there. But I love it. I love how it just beautifully frames this space. So I've told you, the project is traditional, right? There's a little bit of Santa Barbara in it, which is where we get to play with some of those demi arches, which I love. Um, the cabinet color, I'm just gonna tell you because I know you're gonna wanna know. It's accessible beige, another Lifestyle Co. favorite. I'm sure you're shocked. But um, the cabinet perimeter is accessible beige. I'm gonna show you the butler pantry here in a moment. That is Revere Pewter. And then the island is this just this gorgeous just washed white oak. It's so pretty. Oh, number four, number four. Um, so beautiful, so beautiful, so pretty. Like everything about the project, it's just like simple. And I feel like the clients were really specific in saying, I want simple, I want timeless, I just want pretty. I want it to feel effortless and easy. And I think I think we've really done that here. I love all the different nods to the, the shading and the hues that we've used. So as I mentioned, accessible beige, that's that beige hint and tone on the cabinets and then also carried through in the pendants. I'm obsessed with that. The overmantle on the hood has just this little, ever so gentle scallop kind of taper to it, which I love. Again, just like a, just teeny tiny little opportunities to show um, the style coming through. Um, quartz on the countertop, I actually think this may have been discontinued. So any of the materials that we can share with you, we will put in the description, but we carried it from the countertop all the way up to the splash. Again, nice and easy, 60 inch Ilve. I have this exact same one at my house and I love it. I cannot wait, Tamara, for you to kick, cook on this thing. You're going to absolutely love it. Um, again, this project has brushed brass, a lot of brushed brass. So not, no polished in here, which is typically what you see from us. So it's been an, a, a new opportunity to really embrace a metal that has a little bit of a softer finish. Of course, a farmhouse sink. I love that we ended up with this beautiful little um, shelf here supporting the apron. I just think it's, again, there's like, there's like soft curves and there's so much more tradition. I love the toe kick. It, it feels like furniture. I just think that this, this kitchen, you, you can't go wrong with, right? It's got beam work, it's got shiplap. It's, it kind of checks every single box without feeling like it's been over-designed in any way. Join me in the pantry. Look at that. You guys, we try to give you some movie magic every time we shoot. Um, okay, this is the butler pantry, pantry, dirty kitchen, back kitchen, prep kitchen, you can call it whatever you want. Um, and there are a ton of appliances back here too. So this place is loaded. So we've got um, fridge drawers here, which we know you all love. Um, this is a rollout trash, which is highly necessary, right? It's full sink, pull down faucet. Again, you love that. Um, another full dishwasher back here. This is the Cove dishwasher from um, Sub-Zero. Then the kitten caboodle. I am most excited about this element in this whole entire project. Okay, wait, 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 wait. There has to be like an element of surprise here. Wait, wait, okay. It's an armoire. It just looks like an armoire, right? Just you wait. If you watched the compilation tour, which was like a video we posted a couple months ago, I showed you this in construction and how excited I was. This is a tea station, coffee and tea station. Everyone can have a coffee station, right? I mean, everyone can have a tea station also. I hope you have one after you see how beautiful this is. But um, this client is super into tea. She's into iced tea, she's into hot tea, she's into tea and loose leaf tea. So we set her up, like, please just tell me how visually stunning this is. Like, I mean, it just is, gorgeous in in order here black tea green tea 
fancier tea. I don't know, I'm not a tea person, but I love the way it tastes. So you've got this pretty machine here. I mean, it just literally like calls for you in the morning. So I can't wait to hear how much she loves using this. Then down here are all, all roll out drawers, which we've stashed some things. Plenty of storage here. There's also a microwave here. Plenty of room to bake, more storage here. Um, like, I mean, look at all that, you guys. Like, she's gonna love living here, don't you think? We don't always get to show you powder rooms because they are so hard to shoot. And part of me like wants to sit down and get comfortable, but I refuse, I won't do it. So I'm gonna stand right here. But this powder room, like there are elements in here that you will never, never go wrong with. Grass cloth is one of them, full marble wainscot, this beautiful, 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 pretty apothecary vanity. It's just stunning. The uh, marble floor is also one of those things that are, it's just a timeless material that you are truly never gonna get sick of. So I wanted to make sure that you got a chance to see this powder room because the lighting is so beautiful, the single pendant. I mean, basically if you're looking for like a, a knockout rock star powder room design, just copy everything you see here. From here is the mud space, which I'm gonna to try to turn you around if we can. We've got people trying to exit the shot. Um, I love this mud room. It's so concealed. You don't even ha you don't have to worry about your mud room looking crappy or all messy because it's completely concealed. So I love how much storage there is. They're gonna be able to put everything in here and not have to worry about anything. Um, charge ports where necessary. I just think it's so gorgeous. I love the kerf. This is also accessible beige. And if you notice, we mixed hardware. I know you guys always have questions about hardware. This is just a brushed brass one inch pull. And then this is a little bit of a leather detail. So again, just trying to, trying to bring through some textural elements without overcomplicating things into the laundry next. Laundry, it is the it space right now. Well, truthfully, I've been in this business 11, almost 12 years. And I think it's been the it space since like day one for our clients, but this laundry room, mm, so pretty. It's just beautiful and timeless and I love it. So I need you to pay special attention to the floor because this thing took, I don't even know how many days to lay, but you have to lay it piece by piece, element by element. It is from clay tile. It is Zio and Sons and it is worth every freaking expensive, very expensive Zalige handmade tile penny. So. There's not a budget friendly option, but we'll link it for you. And if you wanna bite the bullet, I don't think you'll regret it. The um, cabinet color in here is also accessible beige. And I'm gonna tell you something that questions we get a lot about mixing metals. If you notice, the metal complement in here is polished nickel. So you see a lot of brass from us, right? Either in brushed or polished. This space is 100% exclusively polished nickel, and I love it. And I love how it pairs with the accessible beige. I feel like it, it kind of balances the cooler tones that can be present in the space. Um, it just looks stunning and I'm obsessed. I love the shiplap. We've got beautiful window treatments in this home. I know you're gonna ask where they're from. They were 100% custom. They're this gorgeous oatmeal linen, so there's no link for those, unfortunately. But if you um, are looking for a similar look, any natural linen will do. Um, what else? The farmstead, this is a beautiful piece from Kohler. You've seen it in our work many times. We used it in Always on Vacay. Um, I'm trying to think of where else we've used it. A couple times. Um, I love it in a laundry application. I don't actually think we've placed it in a laundry room before. It's typically in a butler pantry or in a kitchen, but I think it's totally accessible here. And I love it. It just commands the window. It grounds everything. I think it's nice and pretty and perfect for this project. And then another really cool element I want to show you. There's a dog wash in here. There's, of course, a washer and dryer. There are dry away racks, which you've seen all over our work and our videos here too. This is a built-in dog crate. So highly useful. Look at this. Like, I mean, I love that of course you can stick, you can either put your pups right in there, right? With the dog bed or whatever, or put another crate within that crate. But I love that you can like get right down in there and clean it, vacuum it, mop all the things. They're going to really enjoy their beautiful tile while they're in here. I know it. Um, and like I said, dog wash the whole thing. So um, this powder, this powder, this laundry is probably like one of my favorite laundry spaces. And I love that we're demonstrating how you can mix metals in a space with, or I'm sorry, in a home without having to worry about like, does that go? It goes, you guys, do it. It's gonna look beautiful. Primary bedroom, it's always a fan favorite. This one is so tranquil, so balanced. Um, very neutral, right? So you guys know we love to design with contrast, but in this case, we're letting the windows and door package do the talking. 
So uh, the windows and doors are from Sierra Pacific. They are urban casement in black. Um, again, we'll link all this stuff so you don't have to worry about like writing down what I'm saying. Look in the description. Everything we can tell you, we really try to. Um, I just think that this room is so light and bright and airy. And again, like you can walk in here in 10 years and feel exactly the same way that our clients are gonna feel when they finally see it after two long years here and a little bit after we're done filming. But um, again, for elements for success in this sort of style, multiple wood tones. So if you look up, we have the beams that are, are a little bit more of kind of a mid-tone in terms of wood capped with the white shiplap and then all of the furniture elements that are around are a little bit lighter wood. So that more white oak, a little bit of honey tones, nice and warm, right? There really aren't a lot of cool tones in this project. It's all really very warm toned. Um, mixing a little bit of pattern play here between the kind of vintage climb here and then the pillows. White bedding, beautiful, just clean, right? Nice and clean. I loved the I love the radius edge here on this bed. This was a custom piece, so again, no link for it. I'm sorry. Um, these night tables, I love. I want to say these are from Lindy Galloway. I think um, designers supporting designers. Am I right? So this piece is beautiful. I'm really, really pumped that our clients wanted to spring for such a beautiful piece. So Lindy, beautiful job on that. Um, the rug is nice um, and woven, right? You get a lot of that like braided element, lots of texture from it, which I love. I should tell you about the floors. I know you want to know the floors. Um, they are called Mission... I knew I was going to mess this up. You guys will put it in the description. Um, this is the first time we've used this flooring, if you can't tell. Mi Mission Hardwood? No, Mission Collective. Mission Collective in French gray, French oak. We'll put it in the description so that you can get the actual name. But they're beautiful, they turned out gorgeous. Our client was really specific about wanting a wider plank with a lot of variation, so I think we did that. Um, into the primary bath. Look at the size of this place. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I think we've only worked on one other project that had an island in it, and I don't think we ever got to shoot YouTube there. So it's been a little bit of a treat to be in a primary bath with a freaking island. Like, look at this thing. Um, what would you put on your island if you had an island in your primary bath? Like, would you fold here? Would you, I mean, packing? Think about packing. You're gonna have your suitcase, you're gonna have all your little packing cubes, it's gonna be perfectly labeled. I'm so excited for our clients, I truly can't wait. So, um, right, she's beautiful. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous primary bath. So much storage. We went with a white oak reeded cabinet in here. Um, there is polished brass, a little bit more polished brass, brass in here than in the rest of the house. Um, the plumbing fixtures are from Phil Rich. The wall color in here is Chantilly Lace. Still, you guys, I, I'm, I review this before, but then like when it comes time to pull the info, sometimes it's a little more challenging to me. Um, what else? Countertops in here are the same ones that are in the kitchen, which again, I think is, have been discontinued, but we'll put that in the link. Flooring is Calcutta marble, which I mean, you can never go wrong with. Accent color on the island is actually Benjamin Moore natural cream. It's another fan favorite, but you don't see it too often on cabinetry in our work. So I'm really pleased with it here. This project has a beautiful bathtub moment. It's stunning and a steam shower. So what have I told you about tile selection in steam showers? If you are an avid watcher of this channel, you probably know, but you cannot use natural material in steam showers. No go. So we selected a porcelain Calicutta look tile that pairs beautifully with real marble. So that is very hard to do. It took a lot of samples, but that is what is in the primary shower. Okay, you guys, this is the start of kind of this like men's focused golf enthusiast situation we have here. This is our client, Joe. This is his office. And I love this configuration. So if you're, if you're finding yourself needing an office configuration that might be a little bit untraditional, this is a great example. So focal wall here, of course, TV, lower built-ins, plenty of storage for files for any of his, you know, things, personal items that he needs to keep. Then desk is back here and it all faces the front of the room, which is what we have here, as I mentioned, as a focal. The entire room, the walls, the base, all of it is Flint by Benjamin Moore. The flooring in here is Zanzibar, which is one of our favorite, favorite, favorite accent flooring. Um, it's from Urban Floor. And I love, as I mentioned, that the, the desk faces kind of the front and then you've got this sofa moment that is also positioned here. So in this case, the clients have plenty of sleeping room so they didn't need to, but this would be a great place to put a sofa sleeper if you needed to find another opportunity for people to sleep. And you, a majority of the time, use the space as an office, right? So we always tell clients, let's manage to the norm, not the exception. So this would be a 
great opportunity and an application for that sofa moment that you need. You just kind of move these little pieces out of the way and you've got another bed area with a TV. So this space is connected to the men's bath, which I am obsessed with. Okay, so we got to play in here. As I mentioned, this is the men's bath. So country club vibes, right? You've got the office here on this side, golf simulator on this side. So in theory, our client will be in the golf simulator room, really working on his golf game, get a little sweaty, come in here, enjoy his hot steamy shower in his men's bath. Um, from a styling perspective, we really channeled like what would you find in a locker room at a country club? So lots of towel stacks, kept it nice and masculine. This is a custom um, cabinet piece that we modeled after a restoration hardware model that just, we couldn't end up working the right size. So that turned out really, really pretty, really pretty, really masculine, really manly, handsome is what, what this looks like. Um, again, playing with the brushed brass in here, every single wall in this space is black shiplap and I am obsessed with the floor. The floor is a penny um, pattern detail, like stripe detail. We pretty much try to fit a penny stripe in like every single project because it just is always giving custom and amazing tile work. So we love that. Um, and from here, like I said, is the golf simulator room. Okay, I'm hoping that my husband doesn't actually ever watch this house tour because this is his actual dream, <laughs> actual dream. So this is the golf simulator room and the best part in my opinion of the golf simulator room is actually behind you, which we'll show you. It's um, a beautifully curated gallery wall. We have this gorgeous wallpaper. And if I even told you what our team had to go through to nail the colorway on this wallpaper, let's just say we were like splitting Pantone colors, like splitting hairs through Pantone colors but I'm obsessed with how it turned out. The wainscot looks incredible, paired with the wallpaper, right? It's giving Ralph Lauren golf, like a polo moment. Um, you guys think I can actually like do this? I can, you guys, I'm not gonna hit a golf ball on YouTube. I can't. I have golfed a couple times, but I'd say I'm better at designing than golf. Oh, you want me to show them this? Um, chess moment, right? So he's a big chess player, so he can do this. He can golf. He can just like take in his beautiful golf simulator room moment. I just keep looking at that because it's so freaking good. Like we went deep, you guys, in like the golf greens. So obviously there's like all this techie equipment here, which is like not my design favorite, but this thing like measures your thing and the up and the down, the all of it. Uh, you hit into this thing, <laughs> highly technical. And then there's this thing, the bar, which I'm always a fan of, um, right? So you, you have your friends over, you come, you golf, you pour a little whiskey, you have some bar snacks, and you like get great at golf. Our clients have two beautiful teenage girls who have a real passion for design. We were able to work closely with them to fully execute exactly what they wanted in each of their beautiful spaces. I couldn't kick you guys out of here without showing you at least a little hint of the exterior stone. It is so gorgeous and rustic, and I think I'm going to end my day hanging out here on this beautiful Sunday swing. We'll try to link, um, or at least give you the specs for some of the exterior, exterior materials that we know you guys ask about most often. But um, if you would like to follow me on Instagram, my personal handle is at Kristen Forgione. Our brand account is at The Lifestyle Co. Talk to us in the comments. Please subscribe while you're here, and we will catch you on the next one.